Remember, this show is made possible by PSK and Trust Condoms, reminding you, Kua True. Kua oh. Nini. Exactly. Very important message. And, of course, time for us to have a discussion as we are going into uh, the August election. You know, my youth, to Tusiatu and Yuma, Pia, there are issues that matter to you guys, and we want to hear them today. We're going to have, have an open forum uh, with some young aspirants who are going to come and tell us exactly what they intend to do for you. All right, so uh, I want you to please welcome our panelists. You might know some of them, so please uh, just make them feel at home. Sindio. Mm. All right, first up. On the panel, you know him from PUNIT. <laughs> he is vying for the NCA of Athi River. Please make some noise for Frasha. He's coming up in just a little bit here. Yeah. Have a seat. Next up, <laughs> we've got a beautiful young lady who is vying for uh, the MCA position in Kilimani. She goes by the name of Kache Mlanda. Please welcome her to the panel. Kache! But not least, he is a familiar face to you. <laughs> he is hoping to clinch the uh, MP seat in uh, <laughs> in Starehe. Bonface Mwangi is here. Please welcome to the show, Boni. That's your chair. To my party, a high chair. To Jali. <laughs> Welcome to all three of you, aspirants. Uh, we're very honored to have you here. And like I said, this is going to be an open forum for these lovely young people to, to address you directly and, and ask you some questions. So I guess we start with the facts here, the fact that, you know, a large percentage of Kenyans are under the age of 35, close to 80 percent. And so, you know, youth matter in this vote. They, they have the power to, to change things in August. This is the second vote after, you know, adopting the new constitution in Kenya. And I think at this point in time, young people are wondering, what is it that you're going to do for me? Not all the campaign promises that we're used to hearing, you know, they look at you guys and they, they, they connect with you. So they want to know, are you going to represent our interests if you are elected? So we're going to start with some questions. Uh, we have Bravin Barasa somewhere here in the audience. Bravin, come on forward. Ask your question. I don't know who you want to address it to. Okay, Najin Wasi. My name is Bravo. I'm a fashion daddy. I'm a fashion designer. Okay, my name is a I'm a politician. Unajua unapatanga politician ile time campaign anakuambia uki ukimpatia hiki kiti atatumekia promises kasi mta unapata kami mimi mwenyewe cha niongelee mimi na crew yangu tumekaa hapa sini madizaini tunajita down street anatuambia kiingia atatusaidia kutu kutujenga zini atusaidia kujenga so lakini zile ameshaingia kwa hiyo kiti anatusahau yeye anafanya na lead into crimes mavijana tunaanza kuingia kwa uizi so mimi ningependa wenyewe wa politician atusaidie Ya, yeah. na hiyo mtafanya nini mtusaidie mshenge kwa hiyo kitu juu wengine usema hadi tushazoea ishakuwa ni kama mtindo wanasema lakini hawatindi. Yeah. All right, thank you very much brother. Yeah. Uh -huh. who wants to go first here? Um, personally I, I think first of all it's it's up to the electorate to try and put the politicians in check. Uh, times have gone whereby politicians do walikuwa mbele. Sasa hizi the the wananchi have to be in front and to keep the guys in check. There are many ways of getting a uh, non-starter ama kama umelect mtu afai ku afanye job. There are ways we as electorate tunaweza watoa. 
na kama wewe ni politicians for example me uh, why i decided to get into politics was because i want to leave a better example of a politician than the politicians who have been there i want these young guys to one day stand up and say frasha came in he did one or two three things people who have a track record so to me i think it's important for for us as leaders first of all to have the conscience of we are leaders to serve mm -hmm. not to earn from the electorate okay, we are not there to make money we are there to serve the people yeah. so i think it's important for us guys to to remember that kashi i'll come to you the issue of making promises during this period because you want to vote and then getting in there and and becoming just as corrupt as everyone else how how do you keep from doing that um i'd like to first of all address uh, the question that this um young guy here has answered as as uh, asked yeah um, first of all as leaders in this country you need to be transparent and the fact that whenever you're transparent let be ac be accessible like to every other monainchi because without those monainchis or without those youths that vote you would not have gotten that seat so it's very very important and very vital to first of all be very transparent be available for everybody because you're just not looking at that MCA seat, you're just not looking at that MP seat. You're also looking at maybe further, furthering your, you know, your leadership and being somewhere else where it's going to be helpful to still the country. You know? So getting in there and not also being transparent and kujifanya that you may fika, oh, you are a moishimiwa, oh, you can't pick up calls, oh, so do what? I think that is a thing of the past. You need to be, as a leader, you really need to be transparent, be on the ground, not just during campaigns, but also in office. You should relate to people on the ground always. Address their issues, come to them, talk to them, even as now, as like the way we are youths like this, we have to be like very close to them and Two, ten, I mean, ten years to come and many other elections to come, these people will always remember, oh, this one started with us from this, this far, and he, she or he brought us this far, and we are going to get her or him this far. Okay, thank yeah. you. Boni, same question. I move on to the Kenya Kila Siku. I will never say, I will 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 Mekona kwenye jobs kwa vijana, part five phone place ma artist, ma poet, ma journalist, ma activist, ma photographer. Mekona kwenye jobs. How will I create jobs as member of parliament for Starehe? And number one, we need to make the markets in Starehe 24 hours. Modurwa, Kariako, Ngara market, turn them 24 hours. How do you do that? Make them safe, make them clean, that guys can go shop day and night. Number two is every ward in Starehe kuna social hall ameli kome grabiwa. We reclaim back the social hall. And kwa hiyo kwa kila community kuna wewe mtu kuna talanta ya art kama wewe una dancer hapa jamani yeye ni designer unako incubated kwa ward yako hakuna jaya kutoka nje kama uko na talanta ya wewe ni una doctor the ball kama wanyama marigo umetoka starehe umelelewa wa starehe na wanacheza kwa premier league ni katika mtaamu starehe tuko empower wewe mwenyewe tuna reclaim uh, tuna reclaim grab playground so that when you when you have a skill and a talent you can actually play soccer within your your neighborhood without going all the way like some guys in park road have to come all the way to Ziwani to play to play soccer the other thing about young people the guys who hustle every day wana rasio na makarao na kanjo kila siku kule mwongo daily makarao na kanjo na kuara sio toka hapa siku dundo kenda home karara kuita kwa manager toa ya macho nikiwa mp starehe haras me itaisha kwa kila ward tutakuwa na lawyer na represent ma vijana Shiko vila makosa yote Kwa kutuma wakile na kutuwa na tunatuwa bond Lazima tumalizo kisadi starehe Kutumalize wizi starehe Yama ni aje So, mimi Mimi ni kijana wa mtaa Na elewa shida za mtaa Nda represent vijana Na ambi wa seyo, awaswa mtaa na elewa shida zao Nime deal na maartist, nime deal na hookers Nime deal na soboda boda Mwe nisha bike by the way, mimi kamsi wa boda Mwe nisha bike Kwa hivyo, na elewa penye kiatu na uma Kama kijana mwenzao So, minda kwa sauti ya vijana si vijana wa starehe peke yake wa nchi nzima unajua langata primary ni wase niko fanya langata primary nani alirudisha langata primary there you go so my track record is clear i will okay. not change okay. we need some time we're going to move on to phyllis waidera she has a question about tenders is phyllis waidera here in the audience somewhere is phyllis waidera here okay thank you okay hello everyone uh, yes Welcome. Okay, my question goes, uh, every county 
the given tenders as youths. But we are promised tenders by the politicians when they get elected. But once they are elected, the tenders, we tend to put, yeah, it's like to now beg to purchase the tenders to cure either youth, youth groups, kwa nini, kwa our, our, nini, our places. No, no. So, no, no, Lisa, no, to help urge, no, to purchase the tenders, bila kuo, kama kuwa push, like youths to know me sana. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. Okay, thank you, Philip. <laughs> Can I go? Okay. Uh, first of all, it's, it's good that the youth realize that they have the power and the constitution as a segment whereby us as youths can be able to get tenders. That's, that's the number one thing. The number one, uh, the second thing, we have to be organized. For us to be youths, we have to be organized. That's why we're either in a group or in a company, your company has to be registered and all those things lazima sisi kama mavijana tushikane pamoja kufanya hawezi sema kama kijana umetoka weni kijana tu mmoja unaenda kutafuta tenda itakuwa hard but ukishikana mavijana kadhaa fresha chile si hiyo shida ni kwa unaungana mpewe tenda kwa sababu kiongozi wa say kuna ile story ya afya mafia scandal wanaweza pado tenda ni relative nani relative wao watu wao kwa hiyo hiyo ndio shida sasa lazima tumalize ufisadi kwa tenda Yeah. kama kuna county county imejiwa 5 billion 4 billion yeah. kukuwa transparent na imejiwa tender ma directors ni ya kina nani na ni vijana wangapi wamesaidi kwa sababu shida ni ufisadi yes. kama wewe ni maskini ujumtu wa wote always get tender so kama wewe kama leader utamsaidiaje umsichana apate hiyo tender transparency for number one cdf ya starehe ni kama 70 80 million okay. per year hiyo do 70 80 m kuna tender zinafaa kwenda kupatiwa sisi sijui wajenge choo au wajenge madarasa tenda zote za starehe ndio zinakuwa so starehe kufanya hiyo kazi sio so kutoka huko nje but so me as member parliament for starehe yeah. tenders for starehe but the other thing is national government yeah. should be transparent about tenders county government kama unapatia na tenda kujenga barabara manini unakuwa transparent unasema ni how much there's one place in this country that they do that makueni kwa governor kibwana unaambua tenda ni hii na this is how much na wale so walipatiwa kazi ni hii ambao kuna mambo kuficha ficha watu for example I'll give an example some guy went to zini machako yes so let me give an example some there's a guy called Steve Mbogo ameenda KTN leo kusema kwamba he doesn't know what activists do you know what activists do they fight for grab playgrounds activists they fight for prisoners and people in trouble but guess what Steve Mbogo claims is a businessman what business does he do who does he employ how much money does he pay in taxes Let us know this thing. So when someone is saying ndo na kama anasema ni aje ana kama anasema niko na pesa. Umetoa pesa nini? Unauzanga nini? What is that that you sell that? And ndo tuanga ngapi umeandika kutoka starehe tuwaone. Wale wasi benefit na power 254 si nyinyi mko hapa. Wale wasi wanasema ameandika kazi anasema na yeye ni businessman. What do you sell? Lamu unauzanga unga. Okay, all right. I'm going to stop you right there. I'm going to take some Twitter comments before we move on to the next question. Pinches wa Guka is saying round hii my youth was kubali kutumiwa hata ukipewa do chukua na ukule na uweke mse mwenye ame do job. Uh, Diana Murray says we need transformative leadership, leaders who represent us and make us proud as youths. A uh, couple more comments here. Uh, Hustle Bila Crime is saying hope he walks his talk and that in the future our talents will be appreciated. Uh, let's see one more here. Uh, Luna Kinyi asking a question that I think some of you answered earlier. How sure are they that they will fulfill the promises which they usually uh, make to Kenyans? All right, on that is note, someone, I'm someone at the back making that question. Pardon? Okay, I'm going to just, uh, uh, Emiliana Gitao had a question before we move on to, to others. These are some of the people who came up to us earlier and said, okay, here she is. Where's the microphone? Okay. Hi. 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 Emiliana is my name. I have a question for the lady. Um, do you really think you have all it takes to get this seat, or do you think people are gonna vote you in because of your looks? Mic drop. Mic drop. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Emiliana. Asante sana. Nataka kukuambia kitu. I get that a lot. Na ile siku nili, nili announce bid yangu nikienda kuongea mule kile mtu mwenye nilikuwa naongea na yeye ananiambia ah wewe tutakupatia tu kwa sababu wewe ni wewe ni msupu. Kwa sababu sasa nilikuwa na wanda anasema kwa nini saa hii jamii ya saa hii 
sisi my youth hatuwezi tukaangalia leadership in another angle ile uzamani yenye tulikuwa nayo ya mababu zetu ati wanawake hawezi lead oh them oh them anaingia huko kwa hiyo cheo kwa sababu anataka kutafuta sijui ma sponsor hiyo ni kitu ya zamani na mimi nakwambia madam Emilia I have what it takes not just today in the coming future mimi ndo nitakuwa manduli wa hii Kenya sawa Karuna Forest exists because of Wangari Madai. The person who fought for our environment and our forest and our parks was a woman, Wangari Madai. And she's the first Kenyan and the only Kenyan to ever win the Nobel Peace Prize. What men can do, women can do better. Also, it's important. Ni important kwa madem also ku support madem wengine because our madem already wanakuaga wanapigwa na wanaume kwa hizo hizo seats zao so it's very important for also the other ladies ukiona dem kao amejitokeza ana anakaa kwa substance please ladies to support pia tuende back to our back ndio wao wanaume pia wengine kuna wanaume wengine bado wako na ile akili ya wanawake hawezi fanya unaona so if if, if it's just from you yeah, I agree with, with, with what you're saying, but it was just an interesting nomination period, right? Yeah. We're seeing all sorts of posters of Bays and Mamanzi and blah, blah, blah. So I think, I think it's valid for her to ask that question. I do not refute that some of us, some of them got into that exercise for other purposes. I was born a leader. Mimi najua ni kiongozi si ati kwa sababu ya nini ama nini hizi ni vitu tu vitu lakini uongozi ipo hapa Okay you're saying there was someone back here who had a question Okay First congratulations at least uh, the next uh, the next uh, MP for my constituency is going to be uh, a youth because it's Jago you and Bogo uh, the question i had you know i come from Stare and uh, stare almost 30 percent are students living there because of the hostel and the schools so the, uh, we really participate, participate in the nominations and then there is this perspective that nyinyo apita njia tu naishi hapa three months alafu naenda naenda mtaa i think so unapata tuna participate kwa hizo election na ongea tu stare specifically <coughs> alafu after omse asha win si tunaachwa as in wanaonanga ni kama kuna wase for example sana pata an example na paki kuna wase wa hiyo area kuna wale wase sama student unapata unaambiwa hata kama una CDF lazima upitie mse sasa mimi hadi mimi uko mimi sikuzaliwa huko na hata umjamu mji so wewe kama aboni mimi kile naweza kuambia kama uko kama uko sure kama true kama uko true unaweza change kitu kwa unaweza unaweza save nini unaweza save mama youth alafu hiyo story ya power to five phone real sana abin there thanks Mm -hmm. that, that was an opinion. That was an That's opinion, not opinion. really a question. Opinion leader, you. <laughs> <laughs> opinion shaper. Yeah. Um, I just want to go through a list of uh, you know, some research we did here about some of the most important issues to youth. First one, obviously, has to be unemployment, right? Unemployment, uh, drugs and substance abuse, lack of mentorship programs, access to financial resources, education and training, youth departments not standing alone, uh, mismanagement of youth funds and lack of involvement in policy making uh, came up as some of the issues that these guys care most about. So to you, out of everything I've just read, what's, what is your first order of business if you're elected? My first order would be job creation. Job creation, if you, if you deal with poverty, because poverty is, is the underlying, kila kitu yoto wena underlying kwa poverty. Mavijana wana ingiaga into drugs ju awana job. Na hata mtu akisha apata hiyo job unapata job haiko sustained it's not anapata kibarua so tunaenda kibarua for 2 months kibarua yako imeisha unarudi pale kwa nini unaanza kushikisha jaba my my number one thing would be in job creation job creation one in terms of art because mimi kama artist nasikia vibaya sana because our industry is big but our industry unapata ga imekwa nyuma our industry uh, 2 years ago was worth 16 billion shillings uh, if you look at the artists who are in Kenya, all artists generally want to languish.
But it's a business that you can be able to bring up. Acting, if you do uh, clothes, this, these are industries from the normal norm. You can campo, mainly so me doctor in Kenya campo to come so many of these other people under school. You know, you doctor, you know, but a royal guy can go doctor. You know, get. But akuna, there's no, there's no way you can escape to. You know, na there's no option. So I think it's important to create options, and this. Uh, to me would be the number one thing. Every government and the government of uh, our party which is Mandeleo Chap Chap is keen on creating job employment to the youth. I being the youth leader in the, in the party have to my set up already which is to set up in terms of job creation. Music, acting, Macha is the only place where we have Macha Wood whereby we have free studios whereby guys can go in and record for free. You can shoot a video for free in Machakos. Akunaga kanjo. Ayi mambo ya stare ya kanjo. Akunaga kanjo Machakos. Ukita kwenda kushoot, unaenda una shoot video yako. Everything has been set. But we need somebody else also to now to take over. To okay. kusaidia mavijana. Okay. Kacha will be your first order of business. Yangu, mtaongea na Kiswahili. Yangu, kwa Kiswahili, ya. Eh? Yangu, itakuwa kuwezesha, kuwezesha mwana inchi. Like the people who are in my ward, say for example, instead of kushindo kipatia mtu, kila siku unampatia, kila siku unampatia, muwezeshe, muempawe. Uki muempawe, uki empawe uyu, uyu kijanamo, uki empawe uyu msiana, mwenye amemalza shule, ama ni mama, mahali, umempawe kama kuminsi mzima. So yangu itakuwa kuempawe na kuhakikisha wote wakona uwezo wao wenyewe kwa wenyewe kama ni machama zao kama ni ma youth leagues zao wanatengeneza kama kuna mavijana wao kuna football federation yao fulani hivi wanafanya vitu kama hizo ma tournaments manini kuwezesha hao vijana waweze kujitegemea because the moment wameza kujitegemea na youth why can't you wanajitegemea hakuna mambo za uh, nani za za huizi hakuna mambo za ku idol ma drugs nini nini hizi shida zote zenye tuko nazo zinaletwa kwa sababu ya ku idol na ukisha kuwa idol umesha give up na life umemalza shule umepata ile A yako B plus yako uweze enda kampu uweze enda malipopote umekatua po mtaani ukiwezeshwa kama uko na talanta fulani unaweza fanya nini unaweza shona unaweza weld we ni mtu unaweza imba we ni mtu unaweza stuka nywele unajua hiyo inaempower community mzima na tusikusema tu kweli ina mazizi shida zote zenye tuseme tuko nazo zenye tunalia lia hapa tuko nazo okay before we we, we end uh, we wind up uh, with uh, bonfish i just want you to tell us which party you are you run, you're running for MCA uh, Kilimani? Yes. Uh, na pati again? Na pati ya ODM. Okay. All right. Thank you. One face. Mimi si mama bunge starehe na chama cha ukweli. Mhm. Ah ukweli party. I think one of the things Kenya kuna ni makazi. Tulienda shule tukamwambia so many vijana mwisho wa masomo utapata kazi nzuri sana kilip ambao tutapata kazi nzuri hakuna makazi kwa hivyo itakuwa ni kazi kutunza makazi uh, ukiangalia starehe in every ward we'll have a work readiness training wewe ukimaliza chuo na kam una land skills prepare cv kutafuta job na kutafuta placement uh, starehe kuna ma banks kuna ma companies kuna all these places if we train you to be ready for the job we'll find your placement or internship in that community but i'm saying we need to strive to have a 24 hour economy if there's less crime then there will be more people working out working at night the problem with starehe one of the biggest problem even beyond work is kanjo 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 uko na kibanda unasumbuliwa uko na boda boda unasumbuliwa unauza matunda unasumbuliwa unauza designer unasumbuliwa mechanic unasumbuliwa kila mtu ni kanjo kanjo kuna kanjo bandia nikiingia bunge lazima sheria ipitishwe kanjo kwa na vaa uniform kwa sababu sikiza wale kanjo na smoothie wengine ni bonoko wanadunga watu visu wanawanyanganya unatembea na manzi kumeshika mkono una unafanya vibaya ni kweli ama uongo ndio na tele tembea tembea mshika na mkono ni hatia hata leo hata leo nikisita kwa mdogo unashikwa so vijana wa starehe kwanza tuna deal na kanjo kanjo wa uniform na name tag na join fulani fulani the same way police walk around wearing uniform with a job number and if they, if they undercover they tell you skiza hokin boda boda anything that you do that is informal is not a dangerous job and it's not illegal that is why kanjo should not be undercover at a civilian kwa nini avoid a uniform afagie barabara avoid a uniform ni kweli avoid a uniform avoid a uniform aokode takataka avoid a uniform tulipe parking avoid a uniform tukate leseni lakini sikose kuvoid civilian atuibie because 
kanjo wamefanya watu wa starehe ni kama ATM hiyo ndio shamba yao akiamuka anaenda kutoa kutoa hajafanya kazi yote so the thing is mimi kama Boniface Mwangi nasimama MP starehe I'll be your fighter I'll fight for you I'll fight for you I've been tear gassed I've been arrested I've gone to jail fighting for Kenyans when I go to parliament I'll fight for you I'll be your voice in parliament so listen wadakuja na pesa kuleni pesa yao munipe kura tu hamna dosi ndio kuleni ndio hamna nipate nani kura kura kwa nani asante i want you to make some noise for all our panelists today for all of our aspirants we appreciate you being here i know we're running out of time here but uh, but uh, just quickly 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 okay uh, i just wanted to say these things sisi kama vijana muenda kila mahali muenda musema hizi vitu. Natakaga kila kijana kama youth uko na ability ya kuwa kile kitu unatakuwa. Wewe kama mimi unaweza kuwa kama mimi. And there are three things I believe in. There are three B's I give guys. B ya kwanza ni believe kama B. B ya pili ni begin. Na B ya tatu become. All the things that you do you have to believe, begin and become. All right. Thank you. On that note, we're going to wrap up our discussion for today. We hope to do this again and we appreciate everyone who asked questions as well. So, give them a hand. Santeni sana. Uh, now before we move on, Fresh, I understand you have a new song. Yeah, I'm And since you are here, yeah. We might as well hear your new song. Ama adjust ndio. Angushe ngoma. So, I think we are going to <laughs> we are going to clear the stage and give Prasha some some room here. Okay. DJ, go ahead. Thank you. So, ingo mayangu ni tu amgodo. Aju amgodo amgodo. Amgodo ni mdogo yani. Tuende mdogo mdogo.